Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks, and as you can see, this is iRush, and this looks familiar. This is his 111, or WZ-111-14. I swear this is the same camo he has on his 110, though, and fairly certain we just saw a game of that not too long ago. So either he's really grinding through this thing, or I don't know. I guess maybe the other one was an old replay, or I'm crazy, and the other one was a WZ 111-14 game. We'll see. <laughs> Somebody will tell me, because I don't want to go back through all the replays and find it. But anyways, um, so this is a, a, a tier nine game on Glacial, um, Glacier. Sorry, for some reason I was gonna say Glacial Shroud. I don't know what that's from, but it's not from this. <laughs> so. Um, unlike a lot of games we've been getting recently, he does not have all the gold loaded, so this is not a, uh, a going for marks game. I'm pretty sure he's just grinding up to the, uh, 5A. And this is just his journey. Um, so far his journey has been quite solid and a lot of fun to watch. And that is a T-34. Now, thankfully for the T-34, he's not all that dumb. And he didn't just walk out into death. Unfortunately for us, though, it's going to mean a little bit of patience before we get a shot. Ooh. Well, we tracked him, but we didn't do much more than that. Now with M13 and some other backup player. That T34. That's a T29. Why is there a T29 size side scrape in a tier 9 game? This is a bad plan, Mr. T29. Holy smokes, the amount of tanks are over there. That's like half the enemy team right there. What's that? There's the Oni, there's a T29. Um, I can see the M103, KV3. Sorry, that's the KV4. T34 we know is over there. So there's at least five. But I think... no, nope, there's a standard B. Yes. Oh, no! Not quite in time to actually pen the guy though the defender does it instead so there's um almost half the enemy team right in front of us so you gotta wonder if our team is winning or if, i mean they should be because there's there's what three of us holding back most of the enemy team you should hope the rest of our team would be winning right you don't know that that's the case though they pushed up pretty far but i mean then they stalled <laughs> right here what, what could possibly be against them? Well, we know the KV-3 is in the center of the map. We know the LTG is up above us. And we know the T-44 T T is in the center of the map. So that's 9 of 15. So there's not much in front of them. <laughs> At most, four tanks. But that's holding up our entire push on the other side of the map. Yeah, I love me some world tanks sometimes. Oh lord. Um, we haven't done a ton. Well, okay. Yep. I mean, M13 gives us a shot like that. We gotta take it, and it goes in. I mean, I don't, I don't know what he was doing, but obviously he either forgot we were here or thought we, we'd like just fired and he had time to do a little maneuver. That's not the case. I don't know what that the standard B was thinking. Coming around the corner. I mean, obviously he thought he was going to get a shot on the IS-2M. Um, but he had to know we were here. And he had to know that we he'd get shot doing it. And he doesn't even kill the IS-2M. Like, what's the point? Oh, well thanks guys. We really need those tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you shot them off. That did so much damage to us. <laughs> Ah, uh, enemies, when they're making mistakes, you just go, yes, that hurt, totally. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix this camera a little bit. Uh, it feels better. Oh, did I even mention the Oni back there? I don't know if I did, but it's back there, too. <laughs> KV3 caught looking the wrong way. Gets smacked in the side. We're up to 2300 damage. We're about to load up. That KV3 is still just sitting there. 
Waiting to die. I mean, okay. If you're just gonna sit there and wait to die, we're we're gonna help, right? <laughs> so now we got a little bit of backup in the form of a tiger too. But it's pretty much been the same tanks over here this entire time. And the enemy is stalling at pushing through us. Meanwhile, the rest of our team, of course, is dying one by one to like three of their tanks. <laughs> ah right? This game. Don't you love it? Sometimes it drives me a little bit loopy, but, uh, ooh, T-34, not really got a shot on him. Ooh, going for that, uh, little turret shop, shot up on top of the KV-4. Doesn't quite pull it off and doesn't get the damage in. This, though, is allowing the M-103 and the O-N-E to push up. It looks like they're taking advantage of the situation and they are pushing up. The defender has got to be facing those guys, but obviously not doing much about it. IS-3 is more getting in our way than doing any damage to the enemy. Uh, he's got himself down to 300 and some odd health. But that's okay. Ooh, the snapshot into T-34 goes in. The guy was peeking around that tank. He really, really wanted to come charging at us. But he was hesitating and that got him shot. Um, once you come out of cover like that, you either got to be determined to go for it and know you're going to be okay. You gotta be determined to go for it and know you're gonna take a shot. Or don't peek out. Uh, KB4 getting a sh shot straight through the gun. Or his, uh, gun mantle. Yeah, his face. That's what had got a shot. Pretty much. But, um, IS3 finally coming in. Kills the T34 with a snapshot. Alright, a uh, sniper shot, really. Rather. Because it would have been hitting that little capo up on top. M103 in a weird position. Unfortunately, the premium round goes into the tracks or it misses altogether, and we don't do any damage. Um, now that we have the gold loaded, gotta be aiming a little bit closer. He wants to be aiming for the side of that nice, big, juicy turret, or he's gotta be aiming for the Lord Glacius. And with the M103 looking at us, it's hard to do that. You gotta wait till he fires, which I think he just did. And then, ooh, bounces off the armor. Oh, wait. No, those are, had to have been standard shells he was firing that entire time. Oh, it just looked like we had the, the two-key loaded. This is a two-key shot. Well, that still bounces. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but we just get tracked in return. Nothing special. Nothing we can't deal with. T-44 finally finding his way around the backside, does some damage, only to start to run away. And the IS-3 goes and hunts him down. Good job to the IS-3. Snapshot into the 103, misses again. Defender's pushing all the way up. It might, might be a bit much. 103 knows there's no support for the bat defender. He comes all the way up, but then gets tracked out in the open. And we get to put the shot into his lower glacius. We're not going to reload in time to put a second one in, however. He gets a snapshot in return because we were playing around a bit too much. Oh, and there we go, into his armor yet again. That Those shots are most likely getting absorbed by the tracks and not doing anything. You got to be really co careful with HE, with, um, with gold um, heat rounds specifically. We should be firing at his turret rather than his hull. If you're firing at his turret, uh, there's more likely of you hitting the right spot and just going through. Whereas, uh, if you're firing at his hull, you might get lucky and kill him. <laughs> Apparently, I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> we're going to speed this up because we're not going to make contact with that Oni for a little bit of time. And uh, we're getting close to the end of this video. Um, there is the Oni. Um, no, that's the STRV, sorry. Up on the hill, fighting with our STRV, and the snap, well, the, uh, the snapshot, yeah, it says, the fully aim shot from behind takes him out. But that is the only, and it is still on full health. Now, it's tier 7. It's on full health. It's in a horrible position now, and it, now it is going to die, whereas if it had been uh, using the cover provided by that M103, he possibly could have advanced and been helping his team out. Instead, he chose 
to huddle in a corner and wait to die. And because of that, he dies alone and afraid. And this is the beast that won the game. Well done. Unfortunately, no Top Gun, but we'll see what else he gets in just a second. Look at that. Arm of medals. <laughs> We're talking Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Hand of God, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Fact, Shell Proof, a couple of bombs for his efforts, Steel Wall, and the High Caliber Award. Nothing really crazy in here. Um, I wish he hadn't taken so many shots off the 103. But other than that, it was a good game. It was a good mid-tier, middle-of-the-road, midweek game. Um, and... 5,000 damage is definitely, definitely <laughs> respectable and well done. Uh, I actually ended up doing a lot more than I thought he was doing. In the battle, he seemed like he was like scatterbrained and not really paying attention and not really doing much, but apparently he actually pulled it out quite well as well. Uh, though the Tiger 2 that came to assist us, that's so. <laughs> the rest of our team not so much damage. Um, props to the artillery, though. In the end, they definitely support us quite nicely. And, um, yeah, well done. How? How? How does this happen? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. Thank you so much for saying this in, Irish. It was a joy to watch. Um, on Friday... We're going to see a nice round of the Wall Street game. And then Saturday is a real treat. You come back for that. It will be worth it. I promise. So for now, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE Throughout.